how do I do this? How do I do this? All right. Yeah, okay, it works. Uh, hello? It has been a time since the last upload. I've been busy uh, at my new SQL for Institute of Technology. You can't see me, but I don't care right now because it's noisy and it's windy. And I'm going to try to rush this and get this done in one take since uh, I'm moving apartments during finals week, no less, because of reasons. And so I figured now that I'm leaving the place, uh, I, I feel comfortable taking the camera and showing you around so you don't, you know, I don't want to get e-stocked, so let's go. Also, my roommates are here because they're terrible. All right, so first, I live you go. here. Yeah, I know. I know you live here, bud. Yeah, so when you first uh, walk in, you are ominously greeted with egg. Egg. It, yeah, it just, it, this is the definition of just sitting there ominously. Then in the rest of the living room, uh, you have right here the very big black mirror, which if you look closely, really says a lot about our society. Okay. That's where they got the name for the show from! Yeah, also your screens from your, your phones. Mate, I thought that was obvious. Never mind. Uh. Right, then you've got uh, Xbox. Well, m um, most of an Xbox. And the space heater that comes with it. It still works. Mostly. I mean, Alex said he was going to, like, fix it, and that was a year ago. Fix it a while ago. Yeah. There's two steps to fixing it, and none of them are fun. But, um, it still plays open season shovelware, so, you know. Yeah, it's true. Then you have, uh, the library that I use to flex on the guests to I've show... I've seen you open that, but I have oh. the exact same copy of that. <laughs> show how Stephen cultured Ambrose. I am. Which one? Stephen Ambrose? Yep. Yeah, I have a copy of that. Yeah. Also the Wii U, which is collecting a level, a level of dust uh, that is, well... It's got its own ecosystem. Yeah, it's, yeah. And then you've got furniture, which, yeah, yeah, lawn chair furniture, because why not? Uh, you know, coming over here, dining nook with shark painting. It's fine, it's fine. Do you have a problem with my shark painting? Seven out of ten, honestly. Good, perfect score. Yeah, perfect score. Yeah, I got the junk shelves, and then we get into... Uh, I'll get out of your way. Yeah, thank Go you. Go ahead, bud. It's a one-man kitchen. It, yeah, it, it really... Woman, yeah, it's true. It's, uh, that's, this kitchen really is the epitome of this apartment in that it is an unending series of compromises because when we first got it, it was worse because as you can see, there used to be uh, you know, doors here. The problem is, if you opened the door, you couldn't get to the fridge. And that's not... The you know that's you, a deal breaker. That is a deal breaker. You can't get to the fridge. You can, lack of refrigerator access. Can't do it. You can choose one. You can choose do laundry or eat. Uh, this again. Speaking of the laundry, there's another problem. They were installed backwards, so the doors are like this, which makes it incredibly inconvenient to move clothes from one way to the other. It really is just. An it's, yeah, it's deeply uncomfortable. Then, it feels intentional, too. Yeah, it, this is hostile architecture. It's what this is. That's what you this can't is. even open the fridge all the way. Nope. There's a wall. Those drawers, they almost unusable. The, the fridge screams. Oh, it's not screaming right now. It screams. Um... There's also just too many things in this kitchen because people keep... Put the camera back on that Keurig. He's a good boy. Okay, keep going. <laughs> There's too many things in this kitchen because we've got like three people's kitchen's worth of stuff in our very small apartment. Like, th nobody needs this many spatulas. Why do we have this so many spatulas? It's, it's truly terrible. Uh, let's continue. We get into my room which is an extremely uh, no normal room. Bit of a mess, because again, like I said, we are moving soon, and uh, as you can clearly tell, uh, I'm just a normal person who likes airplanes a normal amount, and not in a weird way. I keep this picture of a bomb uh, in my room to remind myself every day that Henry Kissinger has not gone to The Hague for his crimes. Uh, now, my favorite piece of furniture in this room is my very large adult desk. 
Now the thing about my large adult desk is that it's a proper corner desk, which means I can uh, sit here and occasionally look out the window at the view I don't have. Yeah, it's a wall and about half of a tree. That's it. Uh, it's not great, and honestly, on some days, um, I genuinely feel like I'm ha have a bit of cabin fever because it's just so uh, oppressive. Now let's move on to the best part of this apartment, which is, of course, the master bathroom. You, you, you wouldn't think uh, the master bathroom would be the best part in any apartment, but it is because I have a very nice big shower, which is quite frankly almost too big, which is for a bathroom for one, with the sink here and the mirror uh, here, instead of, you know, shifted about a, a little bit to the right, and it's just not focusing right now. I'll just give, it, give it a moment. There we go. And we're back. Um, yeah, it's, it's okay. But, you know, I've got plenty of space for all the things. Um, including toothbrush wrapped with tape because I'm a cheap person who buys the multi-pack of the dollar store toothbrushes and then has to fix it with tape every time it breaks. There's plenty of storage here uh, for, you know, things. I mean, I'm not only am I not using any of them because I'm not two people. And then we've got the forbidden closet over here. It is uh, extremely cursed. That's where the water heater lives. And just get a light for it. Oh, just get the light switch. Which, fun fact, none of these light switches uh, do what you think they do. Like these bottom three. That's these are the bathroom switches, which are outside the bathroom. These two switches are for in here, which is confusing and annoying. And despite living here for a year, I still have not gotten used to it. So let's take a look at the, the spooky closet. The water heater lives here along with a bunch of extra crap. And it's just deeply uncomfortable because you can't see it because it's too dark. But it's just kind of nasty back there and I just, I'm just glad to not be near it for much longer. So we've got the downstairs, again, there's a lot of junk here, this, uh, you know, nothing special here, I mean, you got Game of the Year for some reason, I don't know why Game of the Year is sitting here, it just is. Um, now we get to see how the other half lives, and by the other half I mean my roommates. So we're upstairs now, where the roommates live. This is their bathroom. I'm not stepping in it because it's not, it's not my bathroom. Now, their uh, rooms are, you know, much... Well, they're in a state of disarray right now because, you know, we're, like, moving out. Um, and the pod's coming in. But you can sort of roughly imagine what day-to-day -day life is in here. Just, yeah, also, again, more, more lawn chair furniture there. And uh, over here as well, you know. It's just, it's not as pretty as my room. That's mostly on account of the, the carpet is just, you know, kind of old. And that's what, that's what you just gotta deal with now. Back down the stairs. Um, I think that's everything. I mean, I didn't want to step in their rooms because you know, that's a bit rude. Um, but they did give me permission to just sort of stick the camera in there. Uh, but not like, you know, Give her the full ones over because it is still technically their space. Um, let me just see, is this video 10 minutes? It's almost 10 minutes, so what I'm gonna do now, I think that is everything. Um, yeah. Well, there's like a, an outside closet, but there's nothing in there except dirt and spiders. Like, um, like this guy. There's a lot of these. Like, this is like the tenth one. There's just a lot of them. And it's, it's fine. It's fine. Um, 
I mean, we hit this this apartment is full of ants too. It just it just it just had an ant problem, and I'm glad to no longer be living here and be living in a nice house with my many roommates instead of this place, which is a just a big old compromise of functionality because you know we can't all use the kitchen. It, the walls are kind of thin, so anytime they're upstairs, you know, doing epic gaming, uh, I can hear it word for word. So like I said, 7 out of 10. Like, it works. You can live in it, just not for uh, college purposes. And again, that doesn't even get to the main problem, which, you know, it's not in the middle of the night, so you can't really hear it, which is that, uh, hold on, let me go back upstairs, so you can probably see it from one of their windows. Let's do this one because it'll be easier. Yeah, I live next to a goddamn six lane highway. Also a cracker barrel. But like, all this traffic goes by constantly, so I haven't slept in a year. It's a problem for them too because for, I know for Avery, the traffic light shines in his room and for me, uh, whew, too many stairs. The uh, this light right here shines into thank you shines into my room, and it's terrible and I hate it and it's miserable. Yeah, so this has been uh, an update video, I guess. I'm not dead. Um, I've just been busy with other things, particularly with FITV or. University's Film and Television Club. Um, you've probably seen me bumping their events onto the Twitters, which I do have. <sighs> I sprinted too fast up those stairs and I am out of shape. It is the end of the semester. I am tired and sad. But uh, this video, I believe, is now, yeah, more than 10 minutes. So I'm just going to cut it off here. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, or whatever. I, <sighs> I can't. I can't do that naturally, I just can't, so I think I'm never going to say that again.